Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Jessica. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite TV shows to watch. I think most of these are on Netflix, but not all of them are. Coming to the end of a one-way street. Wish I could wake up. I'm gonna give you the title and then I'm gonna try to give you a very brief summary of what it's about without going into too much detail, but I want to give you a tip. Just go on YouTube and type in the name of the series and then do trailer and it will show you clips of like the first season or whatever and you'll get an idea of what the show is about. That way you can decide if you want to watch it. Okay, so the first show is Orange is the New Black and that is basically about an all women's prison. Um, the girl went in, the main character went into prison because she was an accomplice to a drug dealer and um, I will say that it is definitely rated R so if you're not into that type of thing it wouldn't be the show for you definitely can't watch it with kids in the room but it is really really good I think I just watched the fourth season I think I need to watch the latest season but it is really good and it is based on a true story um, I think at this point they've kind of went off of whatever her true story was but I think the original like the first season was probably more her story but it is a really good show so Orange is the New Black I do recommend that and that is on Netflix. So this is an oldie but a goodie it's Breaking Bad. I don't know how many years old this is but my husband and I watched it it was so good we binge watched it we could not get enough it is basically about a science teacher and or maybe he's a chemistry teacher not science but it's Breaking Bad and it's basically about I think he's a chemistry mystery teacher. Maybe he's a math teacher. I can't even remember. It's been a while, but he's a teacher at a high school and he does know chemistry. <laughs> but anyways, he gets cancer and he starts making meth in order to pay his medical bills and it kind of goes from there. But it is a really, really good show. I like it a lot. Probably another one I wouldn't watch with kids in the room, but it's not nearly as bad as Orange is the New Black, but it does have some language and some violence and things like that. Next is Game of Thrones. Where are my Game of Thrones fans? Let me know in the comments if you watch it. We watched it. We binge watched the first, what is it, eight seasons? Are we going on the ninth season? However many seasons there are, we literally watched in like two months. It's crazy. We were definitely behind, but we kept hearing all this stuff on social media about it. And so we were like, let's see what this is all about. And it did take me a couple of episodes to get into it. But once I was into it, I was completely hooked. It is violent. Um, it does have a lot of mature content in it, but it is really, really good. And basically it's set way, way back in the old days when there was like kings and queens and um, let's see, what can I say? There's so much to the show, but um, I, for that one I say probably just go look at the trailer and see what it shows you because I don't really know how to describe what it's about, but there's a lot of drama and there's a lot of drama from... Like, it's not just one story. There are several stories in one. Okay, so the next one is like a mini series, and I've been told that they have, I think, I don't know if it's another mini series, but another part of this that came out, but it's The Sinner, and it has Jessica Biel in it. I think there's maybe 12 episodes. I'm not sure, but it's not like, it doesn't have like seasons, but it is really, really good, and basically, it's about a woman who's at the beach with her family, and she murders some guy, and she doesn't even know who he is. She doesn't know why she killed him, and she just like snapped and killed him, and she's like not a killer at all. She's just a mom and a wife and just all American girl and she just snaps at the beach one day and kills this stranger. So it is really, really, really good and I highly recommend that one. And the next show is A Million Little Things. I think that's on ABC, but I watch it on my fire stick and um, let's see. So that's about a group of friends, a bunch of friends, and one of their friends commits suicide and it's based on basically after he commits suicide and like how that affects all of them and it's a bunch of drama and blah yada yada yada. Watch the trailer on YouTube and maybe that'll give you more information but I love it. I think that the storylines that they follow on there that the different characters have because each character has their own storyline that you're following and they're each different and they're each just really good. So I definitely love A Million Little Things so check that out. Next is This Is Us. You've probably heard of it. It has Mandy Moore and I don't know his name, but he's really hot. His name is Jack in the show, <laughs> the dad. But it is basically, um, let's see. 
it's another one of those that follows a bunch of different characters, but the main couples, which are Mandy Moore and the hot guy, <laughs> I'm so bad at names, but they met when they were young and got married and they had kids and it just is really good and it's a lot of flashbacks. So a lot of times it'll be like in the present and then it flashes back and it takes, I think, two seasons before you find out kind of the big mystery of the first two seasons but it's really really good and it will definitely make you cry um but it's definitely like a warm and fuzzy and just really good overall so definitely check out this is us so the next show is manifest and i've watched i think like six episodes i'm behind on that one but it's basically about these people that went on a plane ride and they went missing for five years they don't realize they were missing for five years they, it was in all in real time for them. They went on a flight. They had a little bit of turbulence, but they landed and when they got there, it had been five years that had passed and it's really, really good. Got a lot of mystery to it. So it's definitely like, it keeps you on the edge of your seat, like wondering what's going to happen next. And I definitely want to find out like what's going on. So hopefully it's not one of those series that goes on for like 12 years and then never tells you the answer that you want to know, but it is really good. So that one is the manifest. Next is Handmaid's Tale. That one is so good. It's one of my all time favorites. It's on, I think it's a Hulu original film maybe. Am I right? I think so. But it is really, really good. So basically it's set in probably, I would say it's probably like the present time that we're in now. And basically, I don't know, I don't know, maybe somebody can tell me in the comments if it's like the government that's doing this or a group that is associated with the government. I'm not really sure. But basically, um, America gets taken over by this group and they're heavily armed and very, very, uh, brutal. And they, they were, the time is where infertility is a really big deal. And a lot of women cannot conceive and cannot have babies, particularly these men's, these men's, the men's wives cannot, are infertile and cannot have kids. And so they're trying to keep the race going so they kidnap the fertile women in the world. So women that have had kids already or women that are just younger and fertile and they are a handmaid, which basically means once a month, the man, dare I say this? I'm not going to say this because I don't want YouTube to demonetize this video. Basically, the man um, tries to have a baby with the handmaid every month. And then when she gets pregnant, she carries his child and then gives it to him and his wife. And I don't know. There's a lot to it. It's really good. It's really sad. And it can be really hard to watch. It might be a trigger for some people out there. That's why I didn't even want to say the word because some people might want to just avoid it altogether. But it is definitely um, a very serious type show, dramatic, but it is really good. I love it. And I know a lot of my viewers watch it too. And I think the third season comes out in April, I think. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, the next one is Bates Motel. That's a little bit of an older one, but I watched all the seasons of that and it's really good. It's kind of like based on Psycho, the movie Psycho. And I think it's also a true story, um, somewhat a true story about the guy who lived with his mom and um, he was like a serial killer and he ended up killing his mom and stuff. But this is based on that show or that movie and it's about a son and a mom they moved away from well their father her her husband his father she killed him because he was abusive and they basically like ran away to another state and started new they run the hotel Bates Motel and just a lot of different things happen but the boy is really weird and it gets way 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 weirder in the last several seasons, but it is really good. Another show I really liked and had Reese Witherspoon is Big Little Lies, and they only had one series. I don't know if they plan on coming out with a second, or one series, they only had one season. I don't know if they plan on coming out with a second season. I hope they do because it was really good, but it had her as the main character, and then it had several other ladies, and it was basically following these, I think it was four moms, and they were all friends, but they were all very different, and they all had different things going on in their lives, and it was just another typical drama, but it was really good, and it only had, like, 
eight or ten maybe episodes so I was really really disappointed when it ended but hopefully they will renew it for another I guess season but it's worth watching either way so big little lies another one that I like watching and you can watch with your family is Anne with an E that's on Netflix and I don't know if you read Anne when you were or watched those there was even movies about it but there are books too um Anne and it's based on this girl back in like I think it was the 1800s and she just had this wonderful spirit about her she was very cheerful and creative and a little bit weird but like in a good way and she was an orphan and this older couple adopted her and it's just like her story it's a very wholesome show you can definitely watch it with your kids Madeline and I love watching it so it's something that we watch together we are a few episodes into the second season so it does have two seasons and hopefully they will continue to renew it as a kid I watched all of the original and it was so good so definitely check out Anne with an E. The next one is also a really old one I think it was on HBO but it's called Big Love and it's basically about a polygamous family he has like five wives or something like that and I don't even know it's 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 an interesting show I like things like that because I'm just really intrigued by that sort of thing I could never share my husband so I just find it interesting and it's obviously not based on a true story it's just made for television but it is really good I like it a lot I did not finish the whole um, series I think I have one or two seasons that I need to watch it is old though so I'm gonna have to like see if I can find it but big love and it's basically following a polygamous family and the next one the last one is called the affair and it is really good. The first season was like I would stay up until 2 o'clock in the morning watching it. The second season was pretty much the same. And then I think we're on the third season now. It's probably over by now. But I did kind of give up on like the third or fourth episode. I It just wasn't as exciting as the first three. I need to finish it because I want to see what ends up happening. But the first two, three seasons were really, really good. I will say that it basically tells her side of the story and his side of the story. So it'll be like part one and part two in the same episode. So the first part will be like her, how it happened through her eyes. And then the second part will be how it happened through his eyes. And it's just very interesting. It kind of shows how people have different perspectives and all of that good stuff. But yeah. So those are all the TV shows that I recommend watching. If you have any suggestions for me that I did not have on this list, let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for new ideas. And of course, you guys can browse through there as well and check them out. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Make sure you have it checked to all notifications and not occasional. I believe by default when you hit the notification bell, it does occasional notifications, so it's only going to let you know occasionally when I upload versus every time I upload. So make sure that you have your settings correct. A lot of people have been missing my videos. They haven't been showing up at all. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!